What's up everybody? It's the misunderstood soul here. You know, I keep thinking about some something I haven't been thinking about since nineteen ninety seven. And I spent this about my death, you know. I love the fantasize about suicide. So my, it's my favorite fantasy to fantasize about. And the reason being is because I can't die yet as much as I want to. I'm a very unique kind of person, I guess, because I, I fantasize about myself dying, like suicide, jumping off a bridge, blowing my brains out, hanging myself, but I don't do it. I make up so many stories for the concept of what happened in 1997. I kissed a girl, and I was really in love with this girl, and I know she was in love with me. So, one day, my family had a fight, and my father was sent off to, in handcuffs to go to Connecticut. I remember the last time I saw a girl that we were in love with each other. And that was in preschool when this happened. J.D. Floyd Elementary, Spring Hill, Florida, that's what happened. Um, I told her I was leaving, so she gave me a goodbye kiss on the lips, my first kiss. It was very romantic and very beautiful because we were on this little blue chair, you know, the full little thing you lay on in kindergarten. And no one was asleep. And we just kissed each other. For 30 seconds, I think. And ever since then, I made myself a promise that for some reason, I made these all, all these different laws I, I follow by in life that keep me alive. And I follow these laws more than I follow God's laws. More than any law, even the ones we have in the United States. And it makes me wonder because I, sometimes I force myself to cry to get it out, but nothing comes out. It's come all dried up. I'm all dust inside. There's so much rage in me. So much anger and hate, and I want to unleash it, but I don't. I just leave it all bottled up inside and it kills me as a person, my soul. And the more I wait, the more it hurts. To the world, I mean, I remember I was homeless, I mean, I, I, I was homeless, I was a runaway for two weeks. And I remember no one even cared to help me out. I remember I was dying up there so bad that I was coughing up like like saliva with blood and I, I couldn't even move, I couldn't I was like paralyzed and I was on the street on the sidewalk. Cars went right past me, these people just looked at me, smiled and walked away. I was just holding my stomach like this, hurting, crying and so much pain they didn't even bother to say, Are you okay? Nothing. Just walked past me. I remember in Cornell High School, a teacher stuck up for a bully, Mrs. Linnell, Cornell High School. That made me judge humanity so harshly. A teacher is supposed to show wisdom and love and truth, only showed hate and, I don't know, makes me wonder.
with the rape, I mean, I'm still going through the trial. It's been 11 years now, and I'm still waiting. Not even a fucking call. Makes me so angry just thinking about it. Not even a goddamn call from that SVU or nothing. It just shows the people who are supposed to help us and be there for us never are there for us. But yet if we do something wrong, they want to put us behind bars. And here I am about to enter the world, the real world, and all this on my mind is nothing but hate. And excitement. Because I finally got that chance. And yet the world that I'm always helping and protecting and loving and caring, they're the ones that are the ones that want me to fall and fail and just to die. Squirm and suffer. It makes me why I'm still fighting for them, you know? It still makes me why I'm still alive. But that's my laws that keep me alive. The ones I created when I was back in 1997 as a little kid. And it makes me wonder why I'm still caring for people when they don't even care if I got hit by a truck. They wouldn't probably even care if I was burning alive. They'd probably just watch me run and smile and walk away. And I don't, I, I don't understand anymore. This city has taught me one thing of Vegas is that no one cares. It's everyone for themselves, even for kids. One guy wanted to stab me because he thought I was a sick person. Meanwhile, I was about to tell him, look man, I was raped by a fucking pedophile. Why would you hurt me? Why would you judge me from a book of a cover? Meanwhile, I'm just here babysitting my nieces. People judge me so quickly. And yet, the craziest part is, I don't judge them back, but they judge me like I'm some kind of fucking criminal. Like there's something wrong with me. Has the world gone that wrong? Has the world gone that heartless that I would never judge anyone? And I never do. But the world judges me like I'm some kind of a fucking freak. Like I'm a criminal. Why? It makes me wonder why am I even still here? Why am I still alive if people judge me? If people hate me, stop fucking bad. And they say, oh yeah, get over it, man. You're a guy. You can you can take it. Fuck, man. I may be a dude, but I still feel, don't I? Do I still feel sadness or happiness? I don't know. The world's always telling me to get fucking stronger. But how can I when you guys keep fucking beating me down? How can I when the world wants me to fucking fail so goddamn bad? How am I supposed to feel about that? Happy? Try and do the right thing by standing up to that fucking pedophile who raped me and those kids. And yet, I'm the one who gets treated like I'm the criminal and that motherfucker gets treated like the goddamn hero. How is that justice? How the fuck is that goddamn justice, man? I was the only one that stood up and I get fucking punished for something I did, never did wrong. 11 years and that guy still walks fucking free. say people online who constantly judge me like I'm a fucking label to them am I label the world says get tough and feel nothing but that's how the world keeps fucking dying that's how the world keeps remaining the same because the world feels nothing all we feel is greed and hate and rage love is fucking existing anymore. I'm just a fucking person. I don't matter. I'm 
like everyone else that walks down the street. They judge me like everyone else. Death is so goddamn strong in my mind every day and it gets worse. And the more I want to die, that I can't. Because my fucking stupid laws. I don't even know why I created them. Here. Fucking Tiffany says I matter. Bull crap. People says I care. Bull crap and shit. Tell that to have my fucking life destroyed for what? For what? Tell that to the people who always tell me that I'm a fucking no good mutt. That I'm a runt in the litter. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Like I'm supposed to believe you guys that you care about me. Bullshit, man. Bull motherfucking cock sucking cunt. Poor shit, man. That's a load of crap. I'll always believe this. The world doesn't care for me. They care for either my... If I have talent, they care for my talent. Or they just want something from me. It's so funny. I open my arms up to so many people, yet they fucking betray me. They just use me for anything they ever got, man. Even my own mom said I would give the show off my fucking back for people, but yet they would fucking just spit my face, punch me, and walk away. It makes me question, like, why, why are we even alive in this world? Why am I alive? All I experienced was fucking misery. People judging me from a book of a cover. So much rage in me, so much anger, so much fucking hate. How much I want to bet when this fucking video goes on YouTube, people are gonna start gonna fucking judge me because they're that fucking heartless. What I think about YouTube is it's just like reality, it's like real life outside of YouTube. People judge us no matter what, they judge me from a book of a cover and not the fucking inside. Not the heart or the soul, the brains, all this, the fucking, li fucking skin and the bone, that's it. I truly hate myself so fucking bad, I want, I mean, fantasizing about my death is the only thing that brings me happiness. Yeah, that's my boyfriend, but I only see him once a week, and it's making me fucking go insane. I do what I do because I love him. I respect what he has to say. It's so funny though, I really love him so much and once a week I feel like I'm, I mean, maybe I am greedy. Maybe I am greedy for asking more than once a week. I feel like I'm greedy saying that. Saying these fucking walls every fucking day it takes a lot on someone's mind, you know. Isolation sucks. I want to cry so bad, but I can't. I'm all dried up, motherfucker. Goddamn. I wonder why. It's because my grandfather used to punch me in the face every time I cried. You gotta be a man, heartless, cold-hearted. I really want to be that, but I can't. My heart's too fucking big for that. Pathetic. I'm pathetic. Most pathetic.